Yeah, back it from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Run Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video, the king is back from B Link. This is the GT King. And it comes in a very nice, fancy box. So, alright, this is a very powerful TV book from our friends from China. And I was very curious what can we do with this me machine. First of all, I really like the presentation. It comes in a very nice deluxe box. It looks pretty nice. Here at the back we are finding some specifications. I'm going to do a little zoom in. And as you can see, even the dimension of the device is pretty damn tiny. The CPU is a pretty damn powerful device. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And if this is not getting you excited, it's time to open up this package. From China. Alright. Okay, let's open it up together. Let's see what we're going to get. <coughs> Alright, so here is the king. We're going to take a close look at it later. Ah, plastic. This is a power supply, 12 volts, 2000 milliamp. HDMI cable. Deluxe toilet paper manual from China. And here we have the controller itself. Let's open it up. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. There's something inside. I'm guessing the dongle. Yes, it is. We're going to, we're going to need it later. Let's see, this one works on two AAA batteries. I must say the cover itself is very uh, tricky to close it. All right. Okay, I like this. Ergonomic controller. Very clickish. On and off, waving here. Then for navigating, volume control page. It's a pretty basic control. I like it. So what I understand is that this is more like the deluxe controllers. We're going to test it out because I'm very curious how does it work. All right, let's take a close look at the king. All right, so let's take a close look at the TV box itself. The first thing I'm noticing about the thing is pretty heavy. I hope you can see it on camera. I really like this reflecting decal on it. Very cool. B-Link. At the bottom we're having this matte finish, I really like it. All right, let's take a close look around the system. What are we going to get? At the left side, we're finding two 3.0 USB connections and an SD card slot. Here we have the input for the adapter, USB connection, HDMI out, Ethernet, optic out, and I'm guessing this is for analog out? Ooh. All right, so what I really want to show you, what I think is a pretty cool thing with this TV box. A little bit, it's a little thing, but I think it's pretty neat. When powering on, you see the eyes are lighting up. So that's pretty damn cool. When powering on system, I've installed everything. This is the menu you're going to get. But I've understand this is the basic B-Link menu they are still using. All right, so take a close look at it. I think it's a really cool, good looking menu. Uh, so I'm very happy they are using this. But there's still a little bit of a downside. This corner, here you can add new programs or apps in the case, but you're stuck with everything over here. Okay, let's take a close look at the air mouse. Um, this is an air mouse, so it's pretty damn cool. I'm pressing this button. You're activating the mouse itself, and you can move it around. I really like air mouses. It's a new way of browsing. It's very comfortable. Okay, so let's take a close look what we can find here. We have settings, we have a Play Store already installed. What I understand, there is no Netflix. 
viewers in the bottom here we can clean up all of the programs are running at the back so cleaning the memory to, uh, closing and so sorry apps have been killed all right let's open this up here you can see all the apps are installed i installed some extra because of the testing we're going to do some 3d mark ed64 auto auto benchmark and we're going to test out this little me machine all right let's go back as i already told you there is no netflix on it and going to the store itself we're going to netflix already search for it searching for netflix is not on the store so far i understand so that's a little bit of a bummer there are some ways to install it but i'm already going to tell you this little mini device has some DRAM problems and uh, problems there are some different versions of, on this machine and that means we cannot play netflix on about the netflix i managed to find it with google itself and as you can see here your device isn't compatible with this version so that is a little bit of a bummer all right so let's do a little bit of an overview what are we going to get the manufacturer is AZW, model GT King, brand AM Logic. Uh, we're having 4 GB of DDR4 and internal storage space in total of 52 GB is left. And let's see, I already used almost a gig of all of the apps I've installed. Okay, so let's take a close look at the cores and the specifications of the device. This is the all new GPU and CPU in this machine. So I think this is really promising. This is the idle temperature of the device. It can pick up to 65 Celsius. Okay, so let's test the 3D mark. All right, so let's check the Slingshot Extreme demo. And I'm very curious how this little meme machine is going to handle it. people so this is the final result of the slingshot extreme testing so and overall it's getting 1171 points hmm. can we compare this with other machines the score is two percent better result of the whom i made poor train so this means in other words it's not bad at all your score versus all, all devices So overall this one is this little mean machine can be compared with a Huawei Mate 10 Pro.
right, so the test is complete or the benchmark and this is the final score. Let's do a little bit of a comparison with other devices. Okay, so it seems to be that this mean machine can be compared with the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018 or compared. It's still a lot of points behind, but this is more for giving you an idea how powerful this machine is. And now the Geekbench number four. All right, here you can see it's recognizing the system itself. It's seeing all the details, the cores, run CPU benchmark, people. At the left side, we're finding the single core score, and at the right side, we're finding the multi core score. Okay, so we're getting here a 4000 plus score. And let's do a little bit of a comparison. What device comes very close? And it seems to me that the Snapdragon from the Google Pixel is coming really close to the device. So compared with the GT King. All right, so we're going to play some SVL and I'm just using an Xbox 360 controller for it. Okay, let's see. Near miss. Oh, oh. And as you can see, it runs pretty damn good. I play Burnout a lot and I really like this game. I really like this three stage of turbo. Oh yeah, for the people who are thinking, but wait, what are you talking about? Uh, I never played this. Yeah, I did play it on, on some testing videos, but never played it like this for a very long time. And to be honest, I really like this game. Oh yeah, let's jump. I see some little stutterings here and there. Have a little bit of problem here. Oh yeah. All right, so in this part, we're going to do a little bit of YouTube browsing. How does it work? And I really like this air mouse. It's really nice. You can just very easily move around, watch some videos, and let's see how it's running everything. Let's grab a video from the channel. Why do I do this? Yeah, that is not running. Oh, it's running on. So testing this out on the 4K, uh, it looks beautiful, it looks beautiful. And the box has no problems at all when playing 4K on a 4K television. All right, so for the final conclusion about the B-Link, the king, the build quality, I like it. It weighs, I wouldn't say heavy, but for a TV box, it's not bad at all. So the design, it's cool, it's very cool. If this is the, let's say, the replacement for your shield, or mm, would not say so, it's a powerful device, it has a lot of potential, but still there are some pros and cons. For example, what I think is very important, I need to mention again, the Netflix, this is a bummer that you don't have the HD and 4K streaming from Netflix with this box. So this can be a big bummer for you who just want to have this multimedia box to watch videos and play some games. 
I'm going to do some extended testing, retro gaming on the device in separate review, because otherwise it's going to make this a 50 minute video, I don't want that. All right, so the air motor comes with it. I really like it, it's really cool. It's a very nice addition to the box. So if you have any questions or you want to have some extended testing of something, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. And if you're into gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.